So my name is uh, Holden Curry. I'm a driller on Neighbors X09. Uh, we've been in Permian Basin, West Texas, around Orla, bouncing around for the six years that I've been in the oil field. Started as a floor hand, worked my way up, a uh, couple years floors, and then uh, I worked one hitch as a er, uh, motor hand, and uh, not, I'm not a mechanic. So I went to Derrick shortly after that, and then a couple years of Derrick's and started drilling two years ago. Simplified connections for sure. Some of the stuff on the back end, as far as like setting up, maybe make it a little bit more tedious, but once you get everything set up, it pretty much coasts itself and uh, it's got the automatic where it's integrated for, uh, you know, your surveys where you've got the control drill settings. So like it's all built in. You don't have to think about like, okay, I gotta be easy before the survey. It does it all for you. And then uh, as far as like when you're actually drilling and you've got everything set up, it's an extra set of eyes for, you know, motor stalls and things like that because it's also watching and you have your set points for it too. So it, uh, it's just like a, an extra little reassurance in the background. They're still in the process of trying to make it even more efficient, but I would say that uh, like the transition between rotary drilling to sliding is definitely way expedited now. Uh, I mean, if you're not actively watching the screen, the thing that's gonna notify you that you're about to be sliding is the blocks are gonna pick up. So like, it's a bit of a surprise, you know, but uh, it, it definitely speeds up that process from before you'd have to, you'd get a call from the directional driller and then you'd be sitting there twiddling your thumbs, just watching all the tool faces go by. Whereas now you get a command and then it's gonna automatically pick up and it's gonna do the exact same procedure that again, you told it to do to prepare you for a slide. So by the time you get that first tool face, you're ready to press start and get back to bottom. So it's cut down a lot of that downtime right there. I would say that just the consistency is, is there's something to be said for that. Like I said, it's got an extra little safety blanket in the background for just like actual drilling operations that are going on. And then like my guys know uh, they don't have to look in for connections, like whether or not to set the slips, they know it's gonna come up and then it's gonna set, stop at the exact same spot every single time. And then they know that that's whenever they can throw it. And it just, it simplifies everything for not just me, but also the floor hands and makes it super standard and super repeatable. I think the, the biggest thing starting out was just getting used to seeing the blocks move without being the one touching them. So like having guys out there to like throw the slips and whatnot and just having my hands clenched on the joysticks, just expecting something to mess up and nothing ever did. So it was a, a bit of a learning curve and just trusting it, I think would be the biggest thing, honestly. I mean, there's definitely people that are, you know, again, adverse to change, and it is a bit of a change, but I mean, if you actually think about it, it's just doing a couple of the steps that we used to have to do manually for you. And uh, I think that the, the biggest takeaway is that like anything it does, you've told it to do. Like it's, you set the parameters, you set the set points, like you tell it what it's gonna come up to. You can change when it comes up to it. Like it's, it's completely customizable to an extent, so I mean, you can, you can mold it to be what you need it to be.